my name is Evan Hodges and I wanted to showcase some of the sounds and techniques that I use in my scores. So let's check them out. I'm going to show a project that's actually that I'm working on and I'm going to demonstrate how I go about making kind of just small little textures that I blend inside of scores to help create tension and mood. And one of my favorite ways to do is to use the arpeggiator and to develop kind of very soft percussive sounds that I can layer together. We're going to watch the scene and then I'm going to kind of make a sound and show you how I go about doing it. So this is a rather long scene. It's about two and a half minutes long and there's a lot of emotions that go on in it. But we're going to jump in here right before the sequence that we're going to build. So how I go about creating these percussive sounds is really simple and you can choose any patch. I ended up choosing the patch 267 and I put it in the highest range. And what I did essentially was to create, put a hold down so it plays the note and holds it. And what I'm also gonna do is put on an arpeggiator. And this is around 80. And what we're gonna do from here is right now you hear a lot of the, the, the pitch sound. So what we're gonna do is remove all of that, bring in a noise and bring in two oscillators because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sync one and put the other one slightly above it microtonally. So what we're gonna do from there is we're going to tune the frequency of the second VCO so it's an octave above it and we're going to slightly put it a little sharp and we'll we'll bend it up and down around because what that's doing is creating a little bit of like microtonal tension some bends and from there we can play with the the bandpass the notch filter as well as the frequency and the resonance. And then we can also mess with some of the ASDR. So if we, the shorter we make it, the more it sounds like a little percussive snare drum. And we can also mess with some of the LFO. We can also make some, some of the attack as well, but I want it to be real short and snappy. So I want the attack probably all the way down. And then I can bring in potentially maybe just a little bit of the sub wave to get a lower frequency, but I'm only more than likely shelf that out. And so a lot of it is just kind of sculpting things as I'm going to the picture, a lot of improvisation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop it in and we're going to play along with it. close the filters. And so that's just an example of how you can create 
tension with just a very small little arpeggiated drum sequence. And obviously I'm doing a lot of this on the fly. I'm doing a lot of knob turnings and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, what it comes down to is I'm making the ASDR really short and snappy and I'm manipulating the filters, the frequency of the resonance and the notch filter, changing some of the frequency of the LFO, as well as changing some of the tuning of the VCO2 against VCO1. I really love this synthesizer because it's such a great tool and it helps me to tell stories with scores and help evoke emotions for audiences. At the end of the day, it comes down to not just the gear, but how it inspires you. And I hope this inspired you.